Yeah, so a couple of things. I'll start. You know, a couple of things. I think one of them is, um, you know, we did our Healthy Michigan rollout, and I, I would like to say that I think our Healthy Michigan rollout was one of the most successful in the nation. Um, over 600,000 people, or it's, yeah, it's about 550,000, 600,000 people have enrolled in Healthy Michigan, and that's only possible by doing by using technology. And so we look at that as one of our most innovative things this year. A couple of the other things that uh, we're proud of, we're doing a lot with uh, enterprise information management. So it's how we use information with our agencies, how we display information and uh, use it. We've uh, made a lot of strides in that. We've also, as David mentioned, uh, have done a lot with some of our projects. We have an IT investment fund uh, that we have. We've completed uh, 19 projects to date uh, on time within budget uh, over the last two years. So I would say our top three priorities, one is um, cybersecurity, one is mobility, and one is big data. And how are we using those things um, to better provide, to provide better customer service to our clients who are almost 10 million citizens in the state of Michigan. You know, I think another one would be um, talent, always looking for the right talent. And I think that's a challenge that not only governments are facing, but the private sector as well. Yeah, and we're, we're, as David mentioned around talent, we're trying to develop uh, our workforce, our managers. You know, with my job as a director of customer service, I, I really work with our 18 agencies around strategic planning, uh, execution, and delivery. So we're always partnering with them to try to provide the best service possible. I'd really just like to find out what states were, you know, were doing best, sharing best practices. We had a lot of great information at the roundtables uh, this morning. Um, so talking about the applications, uh, development, mobility, security, I really enjoy hearing what other states are doing and following some of those best practices. So we're able to implement those as well. Yeah, and I look at the same thing as James says. You know, it's really, you know, we think we do some things pretty well in Michigan, but we always can learn from other states. But also, what are our private partners providing for us, too? I mean, you know, in Michigan, we look at ourselves as a hybrid organization. Um, you know, what we do well, we're going to continue doing well. What we don't do so well, let's bring our private partners in and have them do that for us. You know, we're, we're trying to reach out to our citizens to find out, you know, what they want, how we can interact, how we can provide, you know, better service. And it's really about that customer-centric government and providing information and data, you know, to our 10 million citizens of Michigan. Yeah, I mean, I think, you know, Michigan's going to be, you know, hopefully leading the way in some of this, too. Um, you know, the sensors, the wearables, we're, we're in, actively involved in that. The mobility pieces, we're actively involved in that. And how do we take the data, the things that we were talking about, mobility, the data that we have and the infrastructure and the technology we have and how do we start customizing services for the individual in the state of Michigan. That's really where we're going to be going. So, you know, we, we're fortunate. In Michigan, Governor Rick Snyder is an IT guy. He used to be the CEO of Gateway Computers, a venture capitalist, did some great IT companies, and he really understands IT. You know, he's, uh, and he's very active nationally when it comes to cybersecurity. So we're very fortunate we have all the executive sponsorship we need. We're doing some things around cyber disruption strategies. Cyber disruption strategy 2.0 is coming out soon. Um, we are also doing something called the Michigan Cyber Civilian Corps, which is kind of like if you think about the volunteer firemen, well, we have 10 regional prosperity zones in Michigan. We want to have 10 cyber, uh, Michigan cyber civilian teams in all those 10 regions of the state of Michigan. So we're doing a lot, we're investing a lot of resources, very fortunate, we have great partners in the governor and our agencies and our legislative partners, so we're seeing a lot of funding coming our way, and so we're doing a lot of things, and uh, we know cyber is a big deal right now and it's going to continue to be, but we're, I th we think we're well positioned to do some good things, but again we can learn from others and really uh, partner with our private partners as well. One of the other things that we're doing is we have a security product that we're training our 47,000 employees. Um, so that's, that's very good. Uh, we've been doing that the past uh, 12 months. So it's modules that we take uh, every month. How do we take that? You know, we've, we've educated you know, 47,000 employees, but how do we take that education and cyber safety or cyber awareness to P through 20, preschool through 20, but also our seniors? And so education and awareness is going to be a big deal for us in 2015. The information sharing piece is huge. Um, and I think we're coming kind of a long way. I mean, I think the, Fed, the Feds have been great partners with the state of Michigan. 
you know, the ISACs, the MS ISACs have been great partners with us. We have great partners with the National Government Association, with NASIO, with, um, you know, all the federal agencies, with other states, with the private sector, education. We've really built strong relationships. And I think the most important thing that states, other states can do is to have strong relationships with education, government, and business. If you do that, I think that the, the information sharing will come along. Now, we'd like to see legislation pass a little faster than it is. We'd like to see some legislation get moving forward. But how can maybe governors and states start taking more of a leadership role in that? And I think that's something you're going to see in 2015 as well. No, just echoing every, everything David said, uh, just sharing information, doing the white papers. NASIO does really a great job at that, sharing best practices, and uh, that's really the way to go around collaboration.